Hello, this is Redithin, and welcome to week four of the GPC against Trev in the Atlanta Braviaries. Uh, shout out to shout out to Trev with that name. Atlanta Braves are like my favorite baseball team, even if they're ass right now. But it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Anyway, so um, I want to I want to get my intros faster. So let's just get right right into the team. Let's. <laughs> so um, uh, actually, I've been. I, I've been wanting to, to do like live stuff, um, but I can't because I'm really busy right now. So live will come eventually, but we're still gonna do like post stuff for now. So anyway, here we got Wilbur with Choice Scarp with Fire Blitz, Super Power, Soccer Punch, and Head Smash. Um, Wilbur was kind of like, um, oh oh, actually let me let me explain. Let me let me uh, let me go over this real quick. So um, I made a lot of changes. Um, we had a change period, but we have one after, like every three weeks, where we can uh, we can pick up um, where you can pick up three Pokemon, but you can drop out however many as you want. So um, I got rid of Licky Licky, Sorok, Sneasel, Galvantula, Munchlax, and, I, and in exchange I picked up Lyperd, um, Lyperd, Terrakion, and uh, and Lyperd. Oh yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Um, I said Munchlax there. I originally picked up Munchlax, but I had to drop it because I wanted Terrakion. So, um, Lightbird is because uh, T Wave, Prankster T Wave, is really important because if you remember uh, last week, I had to run Scarfed Galvantula to deal with to deal with Mega Charizard. So I was like, you know what? Let's just let's just get something that can really kill those setup mons. That because setup really does hurt my team a lot um, since it is a bit slow. So. I got that, and they got Terrakion just because uh, I noticed uh, while team building my first three matches that Edgequake would have been so, so nice, but I had like nothing like an Edgequake, Edgequake other than Soul Rock, and I mean, like, it's a Soul Rock, so yeah. Um, so, any, so unfortunately, I had to get rid of some Pokemon. Licky Licky, uh, I, I was really had high hopes for Licky Licky, but I mean, it just I just never brought it, I never needed to bring it, that was the thing. Um, cause the only thing it really did is wish, um, better than my, than anything else in my team. And I didn't really need that. So no licky licky. Soul rock was useless. Um, Sneasel, I was really, I was really sad to get rid of Sneasel. Um, I still really wanted to keep it, but it was just extra five points that I really didn't need anymore because Lyperd, even if it's not as great as an offensive pres presence, I mean, it's slower. It's, it's a little bit weaker. Um, it's still a dark type. It still can do like similar stuff. So I was like, you know, what? I should probably get rid of that. Um, if I wanted to get any rid of anything for uh, Terrakion, it'd be Sneasel. And then Galvantula was also just a casualty of that. I mean, now that I have Prankster T Wave, I didn't really need much use for Sticky Web. And going over my opponents from here on out, a lot of them have like a lot of floaties, and floaties and Sticky Web. I mean, they they don't care about it. So yeah, so I got rid of Galvantula and then Munchlax, who I picked up. Originally, I just couldn't keep, even though I wanted to. That was like my licky licky replacement because Munchlax is, is great. But I don't want. I decided to go with Mistrevis over it just because of the ghost type and all that. So um, yeah. So yeah. So yeah. I, I decided to run Embor over Terrakion just because um, against Trev's team, uh, it really there really was no point in running uh, running Terrakion just because it didn't match up well. Um, just because the stabs are not that useful really i mean rock is he has he has like three fighting types and like clay doll and all that like it, it just it just was not a it just was not as good as a matchup as embora was because flare blitz just hurts everything on his team and like literally everything like he had no switch in for that um superpower course for fighting then we got sucker punch uh sucker punch and head smash just because i really had nothing else um, to put in there, Sucker Punch, because of course priority is nice. And I also had Head Smash, and Head Smash was because it okoed Kirin Black uh, in many situations, and uh, I wanted something that I wanted it so I wouldn't have to go for superpower, so we could just switch in Gengar or Latios. Uh, he would actually not have like any switch ins for for that. So yeah, that was my reason for Head Smash. Uh, the speed was just enough to outspeed uh, Latios as well. So. Yep. Next we have Hillary. Uh, Hillary's debut actually, which uh, which was which is great. Um, Leaf Store, Hidden Power, Fire, Focus Blast, and Crunch. Uh, I ran in, again just enough speed to outspeed uh, Latios and Gengar. Um, Leaf Storm. Leaf Storm because like I don't know why I ran 248 on there. I, I really don't. But <laughs> but 
But um, anyway, Leaf Storm just destroyed his team. Uh, Claydol is O-Code by it, even if it's Spideff. Mega Metacham is O-Code by it. Um, that's Those are really the only two things that, that are O-Code by it. But really, he just has no switch in. Like, Ukario, it does it does like over half. Uh, Gengar does, it does around half. Uh, Kirin Black, uh, Kirin Black, it did around like half as well. Uh, the only things that really switched into it well were Fortress and, uh, and Latios, but for them, I had HP Fire for Fortress and I also had Crunch for Latios, and Crunch, and Crunch really hurt Gengar and Latios. It does 50 to Latios, but, um, just around 50, so, uh, I mean, it, it's not, it's not, like, ideal, however, like, in cases where I needed to clean up, Crunch was, Crunch is very necessary. And that also got Focus Blast because I wanted a way to kill Kieran Black and... I mean, Focus Blast just kills Kieran Black, so yeah. So Sceptile, really, really useful against Rev's team. Um, so yeah, just enough speed to outspeed Latios and uh, Gengar, and it just put the rest in attack, just so Crunch could do as much as it could. Next up, we have Excalibur. This was supposed to be my switch into Metacham, but like Mega Metacham has no switch hints on my team, so um, I mean, it was really just there, just because I, just because its typing is useful, because he had three fighting types. Um, and three fighting types and Latios. So I just wanted that that steel type in there. Stealth Rock to, to Fog Roost Raybird. Stealth Rock, of course, because Kieran Black. Um, Defog because uh, because I just wanted something to, with Defog in case he set up rocks because Vape God and Mittens, who's actually Focus Ash, need that. Um, then I got Roost and Brave Bird just because Stab and Roost because Recovery. Um, Brave Bird actually two KOs Lucario as well, so yeah, this thing was supposed to be like kind of like my check, quote unquote check to Lucario and Mega Metacham. Next up, we have Dark Mittens Thunder Wave Pursuit Copycat Encore. Um, this is just enough speed to outspeed uh, outspeed Mega Metacham, I believe. Um, Thunder Wave, so it can slow down stuff like Scarfed Kieran Black and like Scarf Latios and really anything that's that's fast on this team because he had a lot of fast threats. Um, and it's Prankster. Uh, Pursuit, and Pursuit was just because of Gengar. Um, against my team, yeah, I think it was just Gengar. Yeah, um, against my team, Gengar was really good because it could switch into superpowers, so I could just spam superpowers after Gengar was gone. And we also have Vape God who. Um, who could just hyper voice everything after that and then mittens who's destroyed by Gengar yeah like Gengar was really really strong against my team so I wanted something I wanted something that could trap Gengar and that's exactly what dark mittens did um, focus Sasha could live hits like because especially because it's so frail like Gengar could probably Oko it with sludge wave I think so um, yeah then we got copycat uh, copycat was in case like Kieran Black went for like Outrage or Dragon Claw or something. Not Outrage, it wouldn't run Outrage, but like in case it were like Dragon Claw or um, we had Latios go for like Draco Meteor or Gengar go for like Sa Shadow Ball. I could just have that priority attack because <laughs> funny thing about his team is that a lot of his Pokemon have stabs that like they're or yeah have have stabs that they're weak to, which is which is funny. Like Latios, Kiram, uh, Lucario, Gengar. Um, that's it. Yeah, they, they're all weak to their own stabs. So I thought Copycat might be useful also um, in cases Lucario sits up like Swords Dance or something. I can do that in case it doesn't have like extreme speed. So yeah, um, that was pretty nice. And then Encore just so I could lock stuff into stuff. Um, I probably shouldn't have used Encore because the only thing that would really... Oh, oh, I remember. I remember now actually. Uh, never mind. Uh, Encore was just in case his Lucario was Nasty Plot. Um, because Nasty Plot, Lucario just wrecked me, because, um, well, I should talk about my Muse set. It was really similar to, uh, the one I ran last week, Willowis, Soft Boiled, Dragon Tail Taunt. Um, this was to check, uh, physical Lucario, because, even though it's specially defensive, um, it could come in, uh, and, like, Willowis, if it was physical, Dragon Tail, if it was, uh, specially defensive, but, um, in case it sets up Nasty Plot and had like Dark Pulse or something, I had nothing for that, so I wanted Dark Mittens in there just so we could like switch in and, and do shenanigans and all that. So, um, yeah, but I mean, Mittens was really really my main check to uh, to Lucario. It also it also really destroyed Kieran Black. Um, Latios uh, couldn't do much to it. Um, overall, it was just really good pivot to have on there, and it could burn stuff and phase. So, 
yeah. Um, but yeah, Mittens, would, Mittens was kind of like the backup for that in case... Or Dark Mittens was the, was kind of the backup in case Mittens failed. And finally, we have Vape God, Hyper Voice, Fire Blast, Roots Agility. Kind of the set I've been... I've said the, run the set a few times, actually, I think. Um, and this just wrecks his team. Like, one agility just pretty much destroys him <laughs> without a Scarfer or priority. Uh, this was enough speed to outspeed Scarf to cure him black after agility. And Hyper Voice just makes it drop. Any, any, Pretty much anything that doesn't drop to Hyper Voice drops to Fire Blast, pretty much. Um, except for Gengar, but Gengar still took a, a hell of a ton from Fire Blast. Um, so yeah, um, that was it. That's it for my, for my team. Let's just get right into the battle. And, here, oh, oh, okay. Computer just, just did weird things there, but we're good now. Um, oh, turn music off. Okay, we good now. All right, so first turn he led with Claydol as I lead with Mittens. Um, really, I, I, I predicted the Claydol switch, so I just wanted to, or the the uh, Claydol here. So um, I, I really just, or I don't. I I predicted either Mega Metajam, Claydol, or Kieran Black, all of which uh, don't like Mew, don't like Tegu Bullet Wisp, don't like Taunts. So here he actually outspeeds me as I go for the Taunt. So this was a, like a max speed Claydol. Uh, I, pretty good prediction on his part. I should have I should have uh, predicted that because I know that's actually pretty common. So uh, shame on me for that one. So he gets his rocks up anyway, and he predicts the Will O' Wisp into uh, Infernape. So a bad start by me. I, I played really predictable there. I'm not not really sure why, but whatever. First two turns. So he actually switches out here. I just go for the Dragon Tail. I'm not really sure why I switched out. Um, my only real switch into that was Altaria, and with Rocks up, and considering it's an Infernape, I was not switching in Mega Altaria there. No way. So I'm not really sure why he, what he predicted there, but maybe, oh, maybe there was the Psychic. Oh, okay. I think he was predicting the Psychic type move actually. So yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Not thinking of it. So it actually goes into Gengar, which is like the worst case scenario for me. I had no switch into Gengar, so I'm just gonna take the Shadow Wall here, as it does so much. I'm just able to Dragon Tail it out. So I do enough damage here. And at that range, I believe Fire Blast was a KO from uh, from Altaria, so yeah, that's good. As a switch, as he goes into a Meta Chammy, high jump kicks here. Um, I went into Skarmory just because I didn't really expect this thing to have high jump kick because I had Mistrevious, which I almost brought. I, I was so close to bringing Mistrevious. I thought he wouldn't, he wasn't gonna risk the the having Mistrevious on my team, but he did. So maybe I should bring Mistrevious next time. <laughs> as high jump kick just does a ridiculous amount of damage because Mega Meta Cham has no switch-ins. Um, so yeah, now I'm just gonna go down to another high jump kick. So unfortunately I lose Skarmory there. I probably should have just sacked Mew. Um, I mean, considering his, the rest of his team outspeeds Mew, I really had no reason to keep it around. So that was a, that was a dumb play on my part, I admit that. Um, I've been trying to scale down my dumb, like, reckless plays, but uh, I haven't. <laughs> So let's go to Sceptile, just because he really has no switch into Leaf Storm, as, like, like I said, Metacham just drops to that. Leaf Storm from this thing is so powerful. As it goes into Lucario here, um, actually, he just sets up Sword Stance, so... Um, I originally was gonna run, like, like an Unburdened, uh, White Herb set on this Sceptile, which I should've. Um, that probably would've cleaned up his team, too, I'm pretty sure, so... Yeah, um, that sucks, so he has a free Sword Stance on Lucario. And at this point, I thought I was just gonna get rizzed here. I mean, I mean swept. I mean swept. Shh. Um, however, he doesn't actually go for extreme speed here. Um, after after the match, we kind of calced it out because of with, with this set, um, he had about I think it was about like a 50/50 roll for e speed to kill there. Um, I don't know. I guess he thought I had more investment or something. So, yeah, Flare Blitz just gonna, just gonna take it out as. Uh, we still have Wilbur out here. As I go for the Flare Blitz, miss out the KO on Clayton. I'll actually get the burn. I didn't really, it didn't really matter though. He was dying next turn. He just cuts up a Reflect. As now he goes into his Harambe, and uh, yeah, we're <laughs> just trading KOs here. Um, Trev's team was very, very hyper offense, and that's just how hyper offense games go usually. Um, just really, really fast. You don't really switch much because you usually just have no switchins for stuff, which I didn't. And uh, here I go into Altaria as I finally get a get a free switch in here, as I'm gonna mega up here and I'm actually gonna go for the agility, um, since the Infernape really. Um, I know I know Infernape can get gunk shot, which I wasn't really thinking of at the time. I'm thinking get gunk shot, gunk shot, 
gunk shot. Actually, let me, let me, hold on. Hold on, sorry, I gotta look this up real quick. Doesn't it get gunk shot? It does get gunk shot, okay. Let me, like, command Z that. Oh, I can't, well, crap. Yeah, so it gets gunk shot, uh, I don't know if it really, uh, I don't know if he had it, I guess he didn't. Um, but I, I risked it anyway. Um, so I just go for the agility because, uh, I could. I go for the hyper voice on the, uh, Kieran Black. As here goes into Gengar, and Fire Blast would have KO'd there, but I go for Hyper Voice. I, I screwed up my calc, so um, yeah, this would have been a 3-0 if I if I wasn't just stupid. So <laughs> he's just gonna take me out the Sludge Wave. However, here I get to, I, I get to switch into uh, Lipard, and I get the Copycat kill, which which is sweet. So yeah, down goes Gengar. Uh, here, uh, Infernape actually outspeeds uh, outspeeds Lipard, so he's just gonna mock Punch and take me out. And here, Sceptile, uh, I bank on the Focus Blast hit, and I hit it. Um, actually, at that range, Leaf Storm would have KO'd, but uh, if he didn't go for a Mach Punch, Leaf Storm likely would not have killed. It was it was like less than a 50-50 roll, I think, and he would have just taken me out with like a Flare Blitz or something. So, um, I went for the safe yet dangerous play <laughs> in Focus Blast, and I made it. Hillary hangs on with 6% HP, and I hang on for a very, very close... 1-0 victory against Trev. Oh man, what that was! That was a match. Um, now I know uh, I I did not play as well as I should. Um, like for one, uh, well, okay, okay. Well, let's let's talk about the things I did wrong here. So uh, the first thing I did wrong was be predictable with Mew. Uh, we know that. Um, we t I talked about that already. The second thing I did wrong was uh, switching, was not sacking Mew in favor of Metacham. Uh, that was bad on my part. Um, then, then I had, then I had the great idea to go into uh, Sceptile and get my special attack lowered, uh, so Lucario <laughs> should set up instead of making the good play and uh, going into Embor and taking out with a Flare Blitz because I think that I think that kills. Um, Embor, Choice Scarf, Jolly, um, Medicham, Mega Medicham, all your hacker. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that would that would have KO'd. So I should have done that instead of <laughs> instead of being in there with Sceptile. So that almost cost me the match. Thankfully, he derped and didn't go for extreme speed. So I mean, we both kind of screwed up. Thankfully, I was the I was the victor. Um, although, like I said, it could have been a 3-0 if I just went for Fire Blast on that Gengar, but. I didn't because I'm dumb. It, um, I know it didn't really. It might have mattered actually. I might, that might have been the better play to get the guaranteed damage because I missed that. If I missed that, I might not have actually been able to one win because Mittens would have just been taken out. And yeah, actually, yeah, because he had the reflect up, so I think the Gengar would have whipped the crunch. So I don't know. Maybe I did make the right play, but either way, it could have. It could have been a 3-0, but it wasn't. So. Uh, but I'll take the 1-0. I, I prepped very well. I know I, I, I think I prepped perfectly for his team. Um, however, I could have battled a lot better. Um, we both could have. But I end up with a win. So uh, a win's a win. We are now, after starting the season 0-2, we are now 2-2. Uh, our differential still minus 3. But we're climbing back up there. Um, I think next week I'm a get up against Johnny. And he's actually struggling a bit, so, um, so I don't know. May maybe we can pull out pull out a win. I'm I'm not taking any opponent for granted. He I know he's still a really good battler, <laughs> um, but um, so I'll try to get a win then. Then we got then we got Uzi, but he he quit, so we have someone replacing him. Um, <laughs> so I'll face them, and yeah. So that's my next two matches. If if I can win two of the, if I can win both those matches, I think I'm well, well back into the playoff race. So, the dreams alive, dreams still alive. Um, I'm happy about the changes I made. I think I think that this season is gonna turn out to be to be a, a wild ride. So, thank you so much for watching. This has been Radithan, and I will see you next time with with another video. Yeah. So, <laughs> goodbye.